I'm Dr. Ted Yeshin. I'm the uh, professor in criminal justice and criminalistics and the program director for the Master of Science in Criminalistics program here at Gannon University. And we're here at the Forensic Investigation Center, which is a real highlight of our program. Uh, it is here that we're able to teach students and bring them through from the crime scene to the uh, crime laboratory to the courtroom. Uh, and in connecting all the steps along the way so that they can know the value of evidence and be able to testify to that evidence eventually. Uh, we do a lot of mock crime scene investigations here as well and we're excited that we just recently acquired a number of new mannequins that are uh, very realistic. Um, they allow for an immersive um, and engaging experience for our students to be able to work the crime scenes uh, in a much more realistic way than we had been doing in the past. So in my, in my classes um, in this semester teaching uh, biological evidence and expert witnessing and so whenever I teach a class that incorporates a crime scene investigation, mock crime scene investigation, uh, I split the class in half and allow the students to completely conduct their own setup for a crime scene. So it's using their own creativity, however they want to do that is okay. I did check to make sure that everything is connected so that the evidence flows properly for the students to be able to figure it out. Uh, in the past, I used to set up my own crime scenes based on cases that I had personally investigated. But I discovered quickly that students really like to use their own creativity and set up the crime scenes themselves. So I've been doing that and it's very effective. And so what's done is the class will be split in half. half. Each half will set up their own crime scene. And then they cross investigate those scenes, not knowing anything about how those scenes were set up. So a new group essentially comes through uh, into each other's crime scene and has to figure out exactly what happened there. Uh, not to name suspects necessarily, uh, we don't go into those kind of details, but to recognize the evidence and try to figure out what happened.